Hey guys, my name is Annabelle, and today I'm going to tell you how to build a tiny house. So at age 16, I started my tiny house build, and I had zero experience and just a whole lot of passion for wanting a home that I could live in. So how did I build my house? First off, it started with Pinterest. I was all over Pinterest and YouTube. I watched so many videos and I, I pinned, I kept looking through thousands and thousands and thousands of tiny houses. Whenever I had free time, I was not looking at Facebook, Instagram, or other social media platforms. I was on Pinterest and YouTube watching tiny house videos. I was talking about it nonstop for what seemed like a few months until I really was like, I want to do this, I'm going to do this, and so I figured out a way to do it. So after I kind of got all this passion and these tiny houses were kind of consuming my life, I then went to YouTube and I found Tiny Nests videos and that's when I realized, wow, I can actually do it because someone else has, is showing me the technical side of the tiny house build. Having zero experience and being 5'2 and 16 years old, it didn't really lend well to um, trying to convince other people that I could do this or even convincing myself because other people had a lot of doubt in me actually doing it and accomplishing it. So that's when I kind of was like, wow, I can do this. I then started drawing up plans and trying to figure out like financially how much the tiny house would cost. I've done some videos talking about the financial side of things and how I built it and how much it costs and uh, suggestions I have to other people who want to keep their costs low or are looking for maybe donations and things like that. I'm not going to talk about that now but they, they will be linked below. So I kind of drew up the plan. Now what I mean by drawing up the plans is literally writing down the whole build. And what I was planning on doing, drawing floor plans, more things. Nothing was technical about this at all. This is my loft space. It kind of looks similar to that. I then drew some with color. And then I made lists of what kind of tools I would need and in terms of like the composting toilet, um, a potential off-grid water system. Basically, that was all the actual planning that I did. And then I just kind of started. I ordered the trailer and the build started to happen. In terms of actually using the plans that I made, um, I did actually make a few very technical drawings of on graph paper trying to figure out like, okay, this stud is here, another stud, another stud, the actual length of everything. And once I got the trailer, it was slightly larger than I expected, or smaller. I don't remember. The trailer ended up being like 8 feet 4 inches, and I either did it for 8 feet or 8 feet 6 inches. So everything was off. It wasn't just because of that. It was my miscalculations and just so many things combined to make all my plans pretty much irrelevant. But they weren't irrelevant because they gave me that bigger pr picture that I wouldn't have had if I didn't actually do all the work. So although I didn't use the te technical measurements, I did, I saw the walls in a different way and I saw all the siding and other such things in a totally new and different light that I wouldn't have if I didn't do the drawings. That being said, they weren't very technical and I see tiny house plans now and I'm like, can I even call these plans because they're like doodle drawings I feel like that I did in maybe a few hours at most. Anyway, so after you have some plans, I would just say go for it. 
you're going to make mistakes whether you take two years planning this or a month planning it. And I really believe that there's no mistake that you can make in a tiny house that could make it totally not work. That it would, your house would just collapse. You may feel that I'm misjudging your capability, um, but I had no experience going into this. And when I think about the possibility of building another house, there are so many mistakes I can already feel that I will make. A wall fell over while I was building this house. I totally misplaced the window. The window was on the wrong wall. So many things went wrong. My roof rafters ended up being too long, so I had to actually go up on the ladder after they were all screwed in and in place and cut them with some sort of hacksaw or something. Of course there are going to be mistakes, but nothing is too much that you can't get over that and keep moving forward. And I think part of the cool thing about building a house that's so small is that you never feel weighed down by this like massive amount of work you have to do on framing or so much plywood that you have to put up or wow there's just too much roofing to do. It's nothing like that because it's so small there's just enough of every aspect of building a home that it keeps you motivated, it keeps you going, it keeps you wanting to to build, to eventually have a house. I would suggest watching Tiny Nest videos and I would suggest really investing time to inspire your own build and what you want in a home. And that will drive you forward, that will drive you to create a tiny home. You can also ask for outside help, maybe your family is good with carpentry, mine wasn't so good, they could help with like calculations and common sense in terms of, of recognizing when, when things may not be lined up right, but in terms of actually building it, um, they, they weren't that helpful. I hear from so many people on a daily basis who want to build a tiny house but feel like they can't, and I just want to say you can and you should go and build a tiny house if that's really what you want. And if it's not, then just recognize that you're not in a place or you don't have that desire to really have a tiny house. And I think this advice kind of goes for everything in life. What we think about most, we manifest into reality. And if you're not willing to really invest the time to, to research, to think about, to figure out all the logistics of building a home or, I don't know, becoming a, a baseball player or whatever it is that you want to do, then just recognize that and either change it and start really making that a priority or, or find something else that you're passionate about and pursue that. That's all I have to share. If you have any questions, leave them below. Go and check out the other videos that I posted about the finances and a tour of my tiny house. That's all I have to share. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you're having an amazing day.